I am an engineer by profession. So you can get this job even as a graduate, as a, a wire holder, as a GCE holder, as a HND holder. No matter your background, no matter your qualifications, you can get this job. Nails are chipped, my ends are split. I flex my fancy bag, but we all know it's counterfeit. These jeans are thrift, my radish. I like my white sheep, as we all know it does the. Hi guys, hello guys, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze Onyeka. If you are new to my channel, this beautiful lady sitting in front of you is the queen of positivity okay in this channel i talk about relocation my lifestyle vlogs and my motherhood journey okay so you are highly welcome so guys if you are new here and you want to join this positivity gang family you are a positive person why not join the positivity gang okay guys hit that button down below and subscribe you might want to turn on post notification so that you get notified whenever your baby girl drops a new video okay then to my returning subscribers oh my god guys you guys are the real mvp thank you guys for always coming to support your baby girl i am grateful i'm not taking this for granted so guys without not wasting your time let me talk about why we are here guys in this video i want to talk about how i got a job in the united kingdom as a senior carer guys it is no longer news that the uk opened their border to accept immigrants okay and there are a lot of routes which you can come into the uk with your family and one of them is the healthcare visa route yeah guys it's no longer a new thing i am here to tell you guys all you need to know about this route and how you can come to the uk under two months with this route so guys if this sounds interesting to you and is what you want to listen to please continue watching so guys before we proceed i would love to say this you will love to be part of this channel because I have a whole lot to share with you guys. The purpose of this video is to let you know the basics of the things you need to get this job. All the documents you need, the sites to get this job, and everything in between, okay? In subsequent videos, I'm going to share my CV with you guys, my own CV, and tell you the tricks about CV. I am going to reveal to you on this channel why you are not getting this job yet in case you have been applying. I will also reveal to you a lot of things you need to know about the UK, the truth about this country because guys, come on, I'm here already, okay? So you guys, don't skip this video because I have a lot of information packed in here. So let's go into the video. So guys, if you see me looking down, just know I'm looking at my points that I want to portray in this video. I am an engineer by profession and now I've switched into the health field. The truth is this, you can get this job whether you are in the health field or not. You don't have to be a nurse, you don't have to be a doctor, you don't have to be a midwife, you don't have to be a lab technician, you don't have to be whatsoever in the health field for you to get this job, right? Yeah, so you can get this job even as a graduate, as a, a wire holder, as a GCE holder, as a HND holder, no matter your background, no matter your qualifications, you can get this job. That's just one good thing about this route. Permit me to let you know that this route is the cheapest route to come to the United Kingdom. When I say it is the cheapest route, I mean there are, you are not going to pay the IHS fee, both you and your family, when you are applying for your visa. In some other cases, like my case, my employer paid for my visa. 
you can as well get an employer that will sponsor and pay for your visa okay in that way you are minimizing costs still on this channel i'm gonna give you guys give you guys the total breakdown the total cost of relocating to the united kingdom via this route with that being said i am a living testimony if anybody tells you that this healthcare route is not achievable tell the person other king says it is 100 percent achievable let's digress a little there is a friend of mine his slogan is always impossible is dead and buried trust me getting this job is quite very very easy it all depends on you as an individual i must tell you if you want to get this job as quick as possible we all know that the uk trying to put a hold or to you know put some restrictions on how people are migrating to the uk already that's the rumor we are hearing we don't know if it's actually true and there have not been any decision made yet so this is the main reason why you should act fast now as you are hearing my voice act fast immediately so that you can come via this route trust me there are a lot of benefits to coming to the uk via this route and i will do a separate video on that so guys let's talk about the documents you need to get this job the number one on my list is your international passport guys without the international passport you have not started talking okay <laughs> so getting the international passport is the first criteria we all know that you cannot go to any country even if it's fellow african countries if you don't have your international passport it is your identity so first get your international passport okay number two on my list is to sit for the ielts guys let me make this very clear the right ielts to write for seeking for job in the united kingdom is the ukvi ielts general that is the right ielts to write don't write any other ielts few days ago i got information that someone um, was denied visa because he submitted the wrong ielts this person have gotten the certificate of sponsorship this person have done everything in fact she have gotten the job her only offense is that when she was applying for visa she submitted the wrong ielts so this is me telling you now don't make that same mistake okay so guys the truth is this a lot of people are so scared about writing IELTS. The first time I wrote IELTS, I made it. And I was nine months pregnant. I wrote my IELTS on the 12th of March, 2022. And I gave birth to my Prince Charming on the 2nd of April, 2022. Writing IELTS is very easy. And with that, I am going to make a separate video telling you guys the tricks on how I did it. I wrote my ayat one sitting and I got it. Okay? Yeah. So, when we are talking about ayat, the minimum score you should be looking at is 4.0 to 6.0, guys. Yeah. The score is quite little. So, but the higher you get these ayats, the better for you. Because we all know that these jobs are well competitive. I must say this. It's not something you lie down and you get. Of course, it's possible because grace level differs. But in reality, the actual reality, this job is competitive. Let me use that. Okay? So, try your best to get a high score because it gives you more chances. It makes you to stand out. Also, don't also panic. If you did not get that high, maybe you get 4.0 or 5.0, don't panic. You can still get the job with that. Then, 
this minimum score of 4.0 to 6.0, you must have 4.0 in each stage. We know the IELTS have four stages. It have the listening, the reading, the writing, and the speaking. So they are saying that in each of these, you must have 4.0. So guys, that is it for IELTS. I am going to make a separate video and talk about IELTS in details. Watch out for that. So you guys, after getting your IELTS years, the next thing you want to be sure of is that you have experience. Trust me guys, you need an experience. It mustn't be a hospital setting experience. Try and care for someone. You can care for your loved one because you are going to add this experience in your CV. This experience is more than important, you guys. I will suggest if you have never worked in the hospital, try and look for a hospital to volunteer in your home country. Just go to any hospital. Tell them, introduce yourself and tell them that you just want to volunteer as a carer. You want to see how they care for people. You want to help them. Don't expect them to pay you. The UK does not care, does not joke with the volunteer. Even if you write in your CV that you volunteered in so, -so, so hospital, you guys, you are moving. What these people want to be sure of is that you have an experience in the health field. So please, if you are not into the health field, try and volunteer in any hospital, in any care home in your home country. If you have ever cared for a loved one, you can still add it in your CV that you cared for so 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 person. It will still sell you. The good thing about having experience is when you reach to the interview stage, once you have experience, trust me guys, mm, you are going, hey, you are going, trust me. You are going because the interviewer, these people are so in. So you guys, once they interview you, they already know if you have experience or not. Okay? So you cannot you cannot run away from having experience, guys. It's not late. Two weeks experience, three weeks experience is enough for you to smash this job. The truth is, once you get to the United Kingdom, you will be thoroughly, you will be, read my lips, <laughs> you will be thoroughly trained. So this experience is just to get going. Guys, the fourth thing that you must do is to get the care certificate. Yeah. Whether you are a nurse, you want to come as a senior carer, no matter your profession, you must do the care certificates. Yeah. Everybody have to do the care certificates. Guys, it is mandatory. The 15 care certificates. I will do a separate video about the care certificates. Okay? And list the 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 the, the certificates, the, the courses you have to do. I think that is the next course, the next video I'm going to do. I will also tell you the website to get these certificates. I am hoping that this video will come up on Thursday. Trust me, the next video about the care certificate will come up on Sunday so that you will get started. I need to list for you the 15 care courses and the reason why you should do them. And I will give you the best websites where you can get these courses free of charge. You will do them free. You will also get the certificate free, guys. Watch out for this space, okay? Yeah, the reason why I want to do a separate video is that I want to elaborate more on this care certificate. When you get the 15 care certificates, and when you are doing these courses, guys, don't just read these courses. Study these courses. There is a difference between reading and studying. You have to study these courses. Don't just read them. Because I must tell you, 99% of your interview questions will still come out from those courses. I'm telling you out of experience, I have passed this stage just a few months ago. Whatever I tell you, just know it is what it is. 
during my time i had more than six interviews so this is just the status quo it will still come down from those care courses finish the 15 care courses guys you can as well want to acquire the um care certificate that is equivalent to mvq2 or mvq3 this is not mandatory but this one you have to pay for it i will talk about it when i'm talking about the 15 care courses i did one myself but not too costly one the one i did i paid for it and it's very cheap i think it cost me like 20 pounds there about both today the course and the certificates i will give you guys the actual website i did my course that is close to mvq2 or 3 it cost me only 20 pounds guys i did it and then the 15 care courses all these things i did it online you too can so you guys after doing all these courses guys these courses we are talking about we take you you see the 15 care courses <laughs> if you are serious you can finish all of them in a day trust me that you are too busy you don't have time give yourself one week you are done with all these courses it is not difficult it's quite easy to do okay i'm telling you that yeah it's quite easy to do then after you have gotten these 15 care courses and the care certificates the next thing you must do is to get an up-to-date uk cv that's the next one guys cv is as is the cocoa hey because the cv is what will sell you you can never underestimate the importance of a cv in job application cv is the ogatata it is what is going to sell you to these employers if you get your cv wrong you have started on a wrong note because nobody will call you for interview guys believe me once you get to these stages of interview you are as good as getting this job the most important thing is to get invited for the interview their interviews are not difficult in subsequent videos i will show, tell you guys my interview questions i will do a video regarding that all i was asked for interview and the answers like i said i have had six interviews for this job and trust me it's almost the same questions so i will tell you my interview questions and how i answered them to land this job so guys i also said i will show you guys my own cv that landed me this job i will review it with you guys on this channel so without wasting your time let's go into the next documents that you need and which is the cover letter guys there is no cv without cover letter these two things they are twins they are five and six they go hand in hand once you talk about cv the next thing you should talk about is the cover letter guys you have to do an outstanding cover letter yeah you had me right a cv a, a uk standard cover letter guys your cover letter sells you the employer have to look at your cover letter okay before they will now talk about opening your cv that's how important the cover letter is it's when you send a mail and they see your cover letter what you said in your cover letter is what will attract them to you that's what will make them to do it add the cv or not guys we will talk about cv and cover letter on this channel okay it's your international driver's license you guys a lot of jobs in the uk that that brings people from the overseas is domiciliary care domiciliary in the sense that you move to people's house to render care yes there are a lot of jobs in care homes living carer but you need a driver's license guys it's necessary it will make the job easier so if you don't know how to drive you guys please learn how to drive okay because without your driver's license you can then be able to drive in the uk for one year before you can get the uk license guys subsequently another document you will need 
is the tuberculosis sisters if you are coming from some parts of the African country like Nigeria for example if you are coming from Nigeria you need the tuberculosis test I came from Doha Qatar I did not do tuberculosis test because Doha is exempted by the UKVI for doing tuberculosis test no matter your country no matter the country you are coming from you will get this job the day I did my induction, I did my induction at the office a few days ago. I did it with some Zimbabwe ladies that were employed by my company. That day we were, myself with a Nigeria, two Zimbabwe ladies and then one um, British guy. The four of us were inducted the same day. Guys, I have a lot of Nigerians working in my company. And all of them we are recruited from Nigeria. I have Ghanaians working in me, and all of them were recruited from Ghana. So no matter your country, my dear, you will get this job. Just do the right thing. Try to get things right. Okay? You guys, another thing that you will need is the police clearance. Nobody gives you a job in the UK without you presenting police clearance. This police clearance shows that you don't have any criminal conviction. This care job is very delicate. They don't want to employ somebody that is a criminal or someone that has some criminal convictions years back. So that's just it. So trying to get this job, make sure you get police reports. Let's say for myself, that have been in Doha for just four years. I, I, I gave them Doha police report and Nigerian police report. So, but if you are living in Nigeria, you just bring Nigerian police report. If you are living in Ghana, you bring Ghana police report. If you are living in Kenya, you bring Kenya police report, just like that. Okay? Yeah. If you are living in India, you need Indian police report. Then, you need reference letter guys in the beginning of this video i talked about volunteering in a, in a hospital guys before you volunteer make sure the organization is willing to, will be willing to give you a reference letter a reference letter is a very very important document trust me nobody will give you a job without two reference letters okay and the issue here is, these reference letters must be direct from the organization. For instance, I worked in Hamad Medical Corporation, Doha, Qatar. When I wanted to bring reference, the reference, the, the person to reference me must be a staff and he or she will use the company's email address. Like, for instance, when I was there, my email was, my official email was, Ada Onyeka at hamad.qa That organization's name must be in that email address before they can accept it. And trust me, you are not the one to give them this reference. They will contact this organization themselves. So please, before you volunteer anywhere, make sure, make sure, I'm, I'm hitting on this because it has cost a lot of people this job. I will show you guys on the screen someone that was denied visa because the organization he put for reference said he did not work here as a carer. He worked as a general what what. I can't remember. I will post it right on the screen. And UKVI banned him. They did not just deny a visa. They gave him 10 years ban. So please, you have to be very careful. These people, they are serious and they mean business. So, if by any means you must volunteer to any hospital, let's say you are not into the health care before and you need to volunteer to get this job, please make sure they will be giving you a reference that will state that you work with them, either as a health care assistant or as a senior carer. Whether it is volunteer, whether it is a paid job, it does not matter. 
what matters is the experience in quotes so talking about reference you will get two references okay so guys these are the documents you need i will list them in order on the screen right now okay once you get this reference these documents you are good to go okay <laughs> you are good to go guys get them ready because you might be lucky you apply today tomorrow you get a job it's 100 percent possible our grace level are not the same that some people did not get this job does not mean you you watching me will not get this job your grace and theirs is different share this video so that others will gain value so moving forward let me talk about the sites that you need to upload your cv and start getting job offer guys trust me when i was looking for this job any day that i apply to 50 applications you guys i did not do application that day it is what it is you have to be intentional about it you have to be serious and for me do you know the time i always apply <laughs> You know i was in doha doha is two hours ahead of here so once it's five o'clock in doha i have started my application 5 a.m 5 a.m doha time is 7 a.m here i have assumed that is morning do you know why i apply that time so that once they come to work and open their system my cv is looking at them like hey hi i'm here <laughs> So guys, that is what it is, okay? So, I'm just giving you this expo. You have to apply that early in the morning so that your CV will be, as in, will be one of the first things they will see once they come to work. I said I will talk about CV on this channel. It's very important. Look out for that video because I will tell you the reason why you have not gotten this job if you have been applying. Your CV is the problem. So, you guys, if you really want to get this job, be very serious about it. Will you get unfortunate emails? Oh, my God. I got it and I was screaming. I was crying. What is, at a point, I gave up. Hmm? I gave up. <laughs> you will get, unfortunately, I will show you guys a mail. How this unfortunate email is how it looks like. It's so annoying. Is so I'm looking for the right adjective to qualify it. Annoying did not qualify what it looks like. These unfortunate emails. I got a whole lot of them. Unfortunately, after looking at your CV, you are not qualified. My dear, don't worry. When your own company comes, you will get this job. I'm a living testimony. So moving forward, I will list the name of the site where you can get these jobs okay so the first one i'm talking about is the nhs jobs for the nhs jobs they always require bantre senior carer for you to work as a bantre you have to must you must have done your nvq level three okay it's not the same in all cases then we have the track jobs i will do a separate video where well, I will teach you how to upload your CV properly on these sites. We have the Indeed. Newsflash, I got my job on Indeed. Today, I read something from one group where someone was saying, I'm tired of this Indeed. Indeed is not working. Indeed is frustrating. My dear, I got my job on Indeed. That's it. Don't underestimate any of these sites. You can get your job on any of them. I said what I said with my full chest. I said it. Yes, I did. We have the LinkedIn. Okay, guys. LinkedIn is a powerful website for getting a job. Sora is another website. CV Library is another website. Okay. This CV Library is better if you're in the UK. But trust me, I registered. You can still register. 
recruit net job alerts, total jobs, and read.uk. Guys, all these two websites, I registered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I just gave you nine good websites where you can register your CV and start getting job alerts. Guys, every day you will not rest. It's a free send that I have to, you know, remove all the um, email alerts on my phone because it was getting too much. Every day you will not rest. There is a lot of care jobs to do in the United Kingdom. Please share this video so that others will see this video and apply to only me cannot do the job here i am very open to tell you guys everything that i know i am ready to hold your hands till you get this job because only me cannot do the job here i cannot hold any information from you what will i gain nothing so i want to try as much as possible to bring anybody that is ready to come on board to the United Kingdom on board, okay? So I will spill it all out to you people. All the process, everything you need to know and do. I will spill it all out free of charge. The only thing I ask is to subscribe to my channel. It motivates me. Okay, now is I'm supposed to be sleeping. I have work tomorrow. I'm supposed to be resting, but I'm here filming. That's it. I have kids to look after. But I'm here trying to tell you how to get these things done. A lot of people that call themselves agents, they collect huge amount of money from you, yet you might not see the results. Why pay? Why you can get these information free of charge? So just subscribe and, you know, it gives me this motivation to do more. Okay? And I promise to spill it all out for you guys. I will tell you the reason you have. If you have been applying, Watch out this space. I will leak the secrets why you have not gotten this job. I have been there. Hmm? I have been there, guys. Hey. Once you upload your CV on this site and you landed an interview, forget it. There is 80% chance you are getting the job if you prepare well for your interview. I will teach you how to prepare for interview. I will teach you things to do before you go for your interview. So guys, once you land yourself the interview, mm, you go and start packing your bags. It's about to go down, okay? So after the interview, the next thing is that you get your offer letter if you pass your interview. It depends on company. You can get your offer letter today and tomorrow your course is out, okay? Some course might take one week, two weeks. It just depends on the company and their procedures. So once you get your offer letter, you guys, the next thing is your certificate or sponsorship, which is the course. I heard some people are getting fake one. I will make a video about it. This video is becoming long already and I don't want that. Okay? So you get your course, right? Once you get your course, you are in the UK already. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> we will sing welcome to the United Kingdom for you. So guys, once you get your course, your certificate of sponsorship, forget it. Everything is sorted already. You are in the system already. Mm. Yes. So that course is what you will use to apply for your visa on the UKVI website. So once you get it, you start your visa application with your whole family as your dependents. Highest three weeks if you are doing normal, highest. My own visa took only six days. So if you want to do normal procedure, highest three weeks, you will get your visa. And you will learn to the UK, life and direct. And you start working. You get trained by your employer. And you start working. You start earning pounds. Pounds, so pounds, so give You start earning pounds. So that is it for this video, guys. Okay? I have break it down. So watch out on this space. Like I said, my next video is to talk about the right care courses to do. 
how to do MVQ at a cheap rate and do the 15 k courses. I will explain it in details and give you the right websites, the hottest websites to do this thing and land yourself a job. Okay, so that's the next video coming up on this channel. After that, I will talk about CV. I will show you my CV. I have a lot of film and they will come one after the other. So you guys, this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as I enjoyed filming it. And if you gain any information, any useful information from this video, please, I beg you, support me by subscribing to my channel and turning your post notification so that each time I drop another informative video, you will be the first to get notified. Okay? Feel free to ask me any question on the comment section, okay? If your question is too private and you want to ask it personal, feel free to chat me on my Instagram page. My handle is down on the comment section. You can as well send me an official mail. If you have a very vital question that you don't want me to, you don't want to ask in the public in the comment section, I will answer you when I can. But trust me, asking in the comment section, I will be faster there because it will be easier for me, okay? You know I'm working, so I might not be available to, you know, answer all your questions as, as when you will need it. So please help me to help yourself. Guys, like, like this video and share it to your loved ones so that they can partake and be part of the Positivity Gang members. And if you watch to this very moment, you are the real MVP. Thank you for staying tuned with your girl. I remain your favorite queen of positivity. Thank you guys and join the positivity gang because positive ever, forward ever, backward never. Thank you. Bye.